Hello everyone, this is Cypher Dyke, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999 on Tortha, and we are in Upper Guck again, but this time we're moving on to a different camp. Also, you may notice that I'm 17. I am going to show you some video in just a moment where I got that level with the group here earlier. Uh, I came to solo the Scryer camp. It's probably even camp now, but uh, we'll have to check all of that once we get there. But uh, yeah, I, I came here, I soloed the first room, and found out that there was a group in the basement, so I went ahead and joined them. It was a really good experience. I'm already halfway to level 18, so it has to be a very good experience. I'm going to go ahead and let myself med real quick, and uh, switch over to some of that video. Just wanted to say uh, in the video, I don't know which parts I'm going to be showing you, but at a certain point, our monk ended up dying. So whenever we got grouped back up and were ready to go again, I made sure that I would bind sight on him. That way, if for some reason he would get too many mobs on him and uh, he was just going to bring him straight to the group, I would at least be able to get up there and um, do Mesmerize, which is my new AoE uh, version of Mez. Would lock down at least a few mobs, let the rest go ahead and come back over to our group. we kill as many as we can before they'd shuffle in, and then I would just Mez them individually. Bind Sight just seemed like it was a better way to go, and I was able to see the zone through his eyes, so it was pretty cool that way. And I may show some of that in this portion of the video as well. But uh, yeah, I had a great time with them. We were killing really fast. It was two monks, myself, an enchanter, and a druid. Uh, I'm sorry, and a necromancer and a druid. So it was an enchanter, necromancer, druid, two monks. It was a really fast experience, and I tried to get quickness on them as fast as I can, or as often as I could, but it's 80 mana for about 2 minutes of speeding them up. Once I get higher level, around level 29 or so, I get augmentation, which is a longer lasting uh, haste, so that's whenever haste will become more into the realm of possibility. <laughs> For keeping that on now if we only had one tank I would have been able to do it easier but since we were taking on five to eight mobs at a time it just was not feasible so yeah just check out the video a little bit and I uh, I'll be right back once I get full mana all right so I have full mana full hit points so I'm gonna load up soothe I have no clue what I just got rid of but I'm sure it's something that I don't want to be rid of. So let's take a look here. Oh, it looks like slow. Let's go ahead and put that back on there. And uh, see, what, see what we can do here. So we'll just get these guys. Now you may be wondering why I am able to get this camp or anything along those lines. It's because I don't have a normal sleep schedule. I am here around 3 o'clock in the morning and was just drive by buffed, thank goodness. I had to gate because um, I was clearing these guys out. Thanks guys. Oh, you're so nice to hit me. Um, I guess we'll, whatever, we'll just take this guy as a pet. And then we'll slow the witch doctor. And I would cast something, but I really don't care. I'm just trying to get these guys dead. And I'll go ahead and kill those sentinel as well. Yeah, he's continually uh, re, re healing himself. So I think the next heal he does, I'm going to just make sure to mez. I don't like attacking these guys. They're just annoying. They do give experience. Yeah, he's. He's got to be running out of mana sometime.
Kill him. You can do it. Or maybe you can't. <laughs> Actually, this is fine that he's getting low health. I don't know what he thinks he's getting by slowing me, but it, I resisted it either way. Alright, let's load up uh, DD. I think we go to here. Yeah, I didn't think I'd get experience off of that. He is at 21%, so he shouldn't run, I don't think. But if he does, where well, you gotta be fast at getting him murdered. Here we go. Sandy, wrap him. Alright, next room, we're gonna do kind of the same thing. Except I'm going to try to lull all of them, and then I'm going to tash whatever I make a pet. And put some kind of weapon in this hand. Make sure I change this out. All the charisma I can get is going to be helpful here. Okay, that's fine. Let me uh, go ahead and mez him. Bring the warrior back. I'm gonna attach him. And send him down to attack. I should have put a weapon in his hand, but I don't have any torches, I don't believe. Uh, let's see here. Oh my goodness. That's not right. How, how dare you forsake me? There we go. Ugh. Alright, well... Either way. But yeah, I don't have a... Um... But I need to get him as... I don't need him healing. Let's get my sanity wrap back up. This is actually going to work out very well for me. Okay. We're going to... Root this guy. And I'm going to tash him and charm him. Now, one thing I've noticed is that color flux, and this is again, it's because I don't have uh, the uh, ability to use this insidious glamour rod yet. But um, it is very hard to get everything going with this color flux. It just does not give me the amount of time that I need. All right. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, I did it wrong. Oh, either way. We're going to root him. I can't believe he 
at below 50% was able to take out that shaman. It's too bad I needed the experience off of him. Alright, so now here we are. Now I'm not going to take out on any guys up there. That's kind of against my policy of, of things. But I can go ahead and get this game. I need to load login. There we go. I don't know when I get calm, but calm should be uh, a little bit more helpful in this. Oh, oh, you. Going to tash him. All right. Now I'm going to charm him. Root him. Slow him. And then I'm going to change over to my direct damage again. I don't know if I have enough mana for it, <laughs> but... I, I do. Okay, you just don't want to stay. If I didn't have the buffs that I have on right now, including regeneration, I wouldn't be able to take the damage that I'm taking. Yeah, I'm at 62 mana. Breeze is still up. Of course you're going to break. Nice. All right, just have him guard for now. And that's it. That's this is the camp. I am only going to be doing these five mobs i feel that it would not be of my best interest to <clears throat> pull any of the shaman because they're a little bit higher level than me uh let me double check here oh that's blue that's even this is going to be red yeah so i don't want to mess with that one i could invis past these guys but then i'd have to have enough mana to be able to kill him outright so I'm just going to get some mana real quick. Okay, so the next cycle is spawning now. I um, was able to go ahead and kill my warrior pet. And I'm really low on mana. Uh, just because I was just direct damaging him down. And then we had a spawn. Uh, what I was going to do is I was going to kill him. And then back up um, into here a little bit. And... And med more, but yay, <laughs> we now have this situation going on. Uh, okay, yeah, let's go and get you charmed again. Really enjoy being hit. It's kind of it's kind of enjoyable, you know. Get get the juices flowing. Okay, the warrior is mezzed. And I do not have enough mana to do anything else, include gate. So hopefully I will get that mana soon. Okay, my pet's beating that other shaman. That's a good deal. And I'll make sure that once they kill that one, that they go straight on to the next one. Hopefully the warrior, warrior will be able to do enough to it. 
that I could kill it. And it looks like that's going to be the situation. I should be able to flip-flop them uh, here in a second. I'm going to target myself. And... Flip. Charming. Okay, that did not work. Charm, charm again. Charm again. Ouch. Why am I not getting charms? I am going to have to gate. Or I'm going to have to die either way. Yeah, I have no mana to do anything. I'm going to just die right here. And that's the way you die. <laughs> I know for a fact that there's another group of people right up in the spider area. I'm not going to burden them with those mobs. I know that at least one of them could take it, but the other one was lower level, so I didn't really want to bother them maybe dying or having them trained. All right, so this time we're going to go to a different area. I, I feel that this one, I only have the five mobs, and they, they take a while to spawn. So what I'm going to do is come down here and try to kill here. We'll see how this all... <laughs> works out. I'm probably going to end up dying because of this. We'll see. Uh, let me get f a little bit more mana and I'm trying to think of what spells I want to have up here. I already have rune on. But that's only like one hit. Ooh, this is actually a good time to grab a pet. Okay, and do I have a weapon that is not an expensive weapon on me? Bronze Spear will do. Thank you for that. I need to be dotted for one hit point every, <laughs> every so often. Let me go ahead and slow him. I'll recruit them also. Because the shaman is beating down my pet. I gotta also put in a direct damage. Okay. Uh, self. I am going to root him now. Hurt the shaman. I might hit my pet. And see if I can't pull another. Oh, I'm blind now. Yay. <laughs> Haven't been hit yet, though. It's kind of a good thing. I'm going to press escape. That way it um, makes sure that nothing else is hitting me. And I don't have lull. Thank you for trying to uh, do that again. You're... Oh, hello. Ouch. You son of a... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna change out of this and I'm gonna change into a, a lull and see if I can't pull one of these two over here without pulling everything else. Um, that was resisted. Go back to sleep. It's an even con. What are you? You're even also. K. 
Okay. Is he going to pull any of these guys? I'm going to try to lull this guy. He's blue to me. Okay, now I'm green. Oh, that hurts so much. Come on, come on, come on. Ow. Root. I need to sit down because if I don't, I'm not going to have any man to gate. Okay, he's done. I need you to guard all the way over here. And do I med or do I bind my wounds? It's either way is um, I'm hurting. I'm going to have to bind runes. I have enough mana for a uh, root and a gate. If I need to, I'd rather have to deal with just one mob. I was going to go ahead and pull the other mob, but that would have been not so smart. Uh-oh. Hair rumor. think we're good right now. All right. Can I get some mana now? I'm going to keep my target on him. Twenty mana should be good with that. Okay, I have a little bit of health back, a little bit of mana back. Let me see if I can't sue this guy again. Okay, that was not resisted. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, we need mana again. It's weird. I slowed him, but my pet is still getting hit for enough damage that they're staying kind of even, even across the board in health. I'm at 150 at the moment. Bad time to buy wins, probably. Okay, slow just faded, root just faded. Rerooting him. We're gonna flip. Uh, charm him. No, don't, don't charm him. Charm him. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm dead. So let's talk about this camp. This, um, the Scryer camp slash the basement. Is it a good camp for an enchanter? It's plausible. 
I mean, it's not impossible, as you can see. Am I probably trying to rush it? Absolutely. And am I doing it wrong? Of course I am. <laughs> but um, yeah, it is something that you can do. You just bring bandages with you. I would probably, if I would have re rethought that, I would have made sure Rune was always back up on me every time. But even though I have a bag full of gems for Rune, it doesn't, it's not a strong Rune. It's like one hit and it's gone. So you're negating one hit in hopes that you can get a Mez off or something before they just absolutely destroy you. And that's, I think, is better than, than nothing. So, it's not that great of a camp solo, but it is a very good grouping camp. So, if you can find a group here, I would suggest to do it. But as for next time, we won't be here. <laughs> we'll be trying something else. And I think that's where we're going to end today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you have any other ideas as to where you would want me to try to camp i will try it uh, i may fail and right now i'm in that kind of in between i'm i'm low level i'm not really fretting the dust i i've made more experience in this short run than i have um than i've had i don't know what i'm trying to compare it to I, oh, I've made more experience in this run than I have lost experience, and I've died twice. So that's not that bad. I'm, I'm feeling that this is, again, it's probably, if you could get a duo, get a, some kind of healer, a shaman, something, it would be much better for you. Also, if you wanted to duo with a sh uh, Shadow Knight, Shadow Knight would be a good uh, combination, too. Because of the fact that you, they could pull a lot of mobs. You could lock them down. They have life tap. It's not the greatest. But they also have an ability to uh, proc life tap with vampiric embrace. So it, it really depends on how you want to play it. But either way, I love this zone. I, I'm going to continue to keep coming back here. It's just part of my, my list of zones that I always go back to. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you next time. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. Oh yeah, before I go. <laughs> Dang. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.